Good night. AJ Mahari here. Please know that when I talk in videos, whether I sound a little passionate or the odd, odd time, I get a little frustrated with questions, not people, with erroneous information. In the last video I did, a borderline remission is not BPD recovery, response to a comment. Well, when you get that much misinformation in a question, the question inherently is flawed. And on that topic, yep, I get a little bit frustrated, which I said in the video, apologized for in the video, and owned in the video. And then along comes, quote, Tracy Chapman, unquote, who commented, I think if I was the original commenter, I might feel ashamed. Well, I agree with everything you've said. I think your delivery and frustration may not be helpful for someone with codependency. And there was a thread, and I tried to say a few things back to this person, and you know, but they couldn't quit. They just had to keep coming back with more and more. So, and then including that apparently they're a therapist as well. No, well, so what? There's still a rampant projecting codependent trying to rescue what? All the codependents from my little, it was like maybe a minute and a half in that video. The hell was frustrated. That was it. And it wasn't at a commenter. And I didn't say anything derogatory about the commenter. And I'm not here to say much derogatory about this commenter, except this is a joke. This is a, this is a person, professional or not, just because they claimed it. I have no idea who they are. I want to say that, oh, but my frustration, my style of delivery in one video out of 800 almost, <laughs> uh, might not be helpful for someone with codependency. Well, you know what? For someone or some people, that could be very true. For other people... They learn and they understand and they get sort of a little bit more awakened to what they need to be more aware of in the case of some people by that exact kind of video. So who does Tracy Chapman think she is, right? Now, I don't think I'm all that either, but I'm just saying I'm here putting it on the line for free day after day almost 800 videos on this channel now and what's tracy chapman done for the world huh well she came here as a codependent whether she wants to own it or not she came here worried about in a codependent way some codependent that would be too sensitive because later in the thread which i've now deleted because i shouldn't have entertained it in the first place she goes on about people with codependency can be very sensitive hmm well so can people with bpd so can narcissists, and guess what? I'm not here to walk on any of your, your old eggshells or new eggshells. And I'm also not here very often, very frustrated. It's just another reality of codependency in this person's case, trying to protect and save the world from, from my little minute and a half of frustration that I owned, mentioned, and apologized for. Because the question didn't make any sense, wasn't aimed at anybody, and this is not therapy. This, you know, channel, I when I work with clients, of course, it's different. But anyway, this little rescuer, projecta, bleeding heart codependent, who's never commented on this channel before, and never will again, had to come. I'm not taking it personally. It's just, it's frustrating, this. Because people come along who contribute nothing out here for free. You know, maybe she's uber you know, unbelievably super sensitive to clients in some codependent kind of manifesting way, because, I mean, I'm not insensitive to clients at all, but part of what I do and how I do it is I tell it like it is. I keep it real to help people heal. I don't have the most popular channel, nor will I ever. So if you resonate with me, cool. And if you don't, keep moving. Because if you're, if you're just somebody who's going to comment on one video, like so many people do, and then, you know, this person was not only judging, trying to rescue or fix me or change me or my delivery style based on their concern, their own projection out of their own codependency, but based on their concern, because they said, well, if they were the original commenter, they might feel ashamed. In other words, implying that I have some superpower that I can make 
people out there feel something. No, I'm not responsible for your feelings. Go watch other YouTubers that yell and scream at people. And I think Tracy Chapman should do the same thing. And I think in her bleeding heart, codependent, judgy, trying to fix and change and and controlling, covert controlling little messages, she should go to all those other channels where people are actually yelling at people and, and abusing people, etc., which I don't do. I get passionate on subjects once in a while, but it's passionate on subjects. It's not yelling at anyone. I get trolled all the time. I'm not even really usually rude to trolls. So this lady knows not of where she speaks, and I will make sure to try harder in, in the future to not engage these kind of bleeding heart codependent, whether they're professionals or not. So what's she watching my channel for? One video, a whole lot of codependent bleeding heart nonsense. She wants me to change. She wants me to do this. She wants me to do that just by the very nature of the comments. It's not okay. It's not okay what I did in the video yesterday. Not okay to have a minute and 50 seconds or 30 seconds worth. I didn't actually count, but it's just a little part of the video. And my frustration was about the flawed question, not a commenter. My frustration now, although I don't think I'm sounding too frustrated, I hope, because we wouldn't want fleeting heart, um, you know, codependent little Tracy Chapman to get hurt, would we? See, this is a codependent dilemma, so I'm not aiming this at everybody with codependency. But when you have codependency, you may or may not be aware yet that you walk on your own eggshells. Besides walking on the eggshells around a borderline or a narcissist, you can, you can have developed or always have had since childhood. And whatever the adverse experience was that created your codependency, have your own eggshells. I think this person, Tracy, whoever she is in the world, because I don't give a flying pig, actually, um... I'm just tired of these one flyby commenting type people, whether it's in this sort of couched in this nice covert sort of like, you know, this is what I really mean, but I'll say it like this. Well, this person is worried about everybody else. I got news for all of you. You got to take care of yourselves. You got to own your own feelings. Whether somebody has BPD, whether, well, good luck to some narcissists, but some can be helped or people with codependency or anything in between. It's called personal responsibility. And if you don't like my style of delivery or you don't like it in a certain video, then who's making you watch it? Who made Tracy, you know, watch that video? And you know, at first I thought the comment was, but, but these are the kind of comments that nobody should ever engage. Because what the person said and why they said it, they start off with, I, if I was the original commenter, and then, you know, oh, how I, my style of delivering the video would have meant that poor Tracy Chapman would have felt like she said she might have felt ashamed. So she's holding a commenter's feeling and then trying to do something about how I felt or how I feel and then tell me what to do. And all this kind of delivery could be my style of delivering that video could be maybe, or my frustration, or my humanity, or my keeping it real to help people heal, because I have my own mouth, and I do my own thing my own way. Thank you very much, Tracy Chapman. Why don't you start a channel? Why don't you get into the fray? Why don't you deal with what you have to deal with on this toxic platform every day? Why don't you try it? Yeah. Because until you do, you you know, you can be a critic, you can be whatever you were trying to be there, but I recognize codependent creep that's codependent creep speak for oh you know i would have felt this way because you're holding the the feelings of the commenter and then i'm all in the wrong because quote i was frustrated my delivery and frustration may not be helpful for someone with codependency oh oh really is everyone with codependency like tracy chapman a little social justice warrior snowflake worried about everybody else but themselves you know if you really are a therapist tracy chapman i suggest you get some therapy so you're not codependently bleeding heart bleeding all over your clients holy crap and then anyway so could i get uh, do i ever show that kind of frustration even briefly with clients no of course not 
this is YouTube, where other people yell and scream and do all kinds of stuff and never seem to get criticized for it. That I just do my thing here, and you know, to tell you the truth, I get endlessly criticized and trolled. So it's getting really old. But my main message here is, and, and I'm not aiming this because of Tracy Poole Chapman, codependent extraordinaire. And that's what everybody wants, right? A real super codependent therapist. I don't think so. I'm not a codependent. And I'm not here to take responsibility for your feelings, to walk on eggshells around your feelings, or, I mean, I take your feelings into consideration. And, and who's you, right? Like, I don't know who's watching or listening or not. Some people might be in a more sensitive place. Some people might not be. But over the course of most of my videos, it's not going to be an issue. But my delivery style on one video was a big ish issue for some stranger named Tracy Chapman. Not the singer, right? This is just covert codependence on steroids. Trying to do what? Change me in that video. Change my delivery style. Quote, shame me. Was an attempt to shame me. Was an, it was an attempt to like, do what? Say I don't care about other people's feelings? I don't know. Because I'm just, I'm not extrapolating this in any personal way. I really couldn't give a shit to be blunt about what Tracy Chapman said. Recognize, if you will, if you're so inclined, that what this codependent bleeding heart did was not just what was stated in their comment. Because you see, this is the duality of codependency. Oh, I mean well, but I mean well, and I'm saying this, but I really kind of mean, could mean this, that, and the other thing. Because make no mistake about it, when this comment was made, let alone the other ones in the thread, it's judgment. It's straight up judgment and a want for control and a need to try to change my one minute, 30 second or 50 second bit of frustration, which I spoke to and apologize for. It's an effort to try to change. It's saying, AJ, don't do that. You're not thinking enough about the most sensitive codependent on earth, who just might have been this bleeding heart commenter. So, you know, most people that have watched my channel over time, if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. I'm not here aiming at people. But this person, I wanted to speak to this because if you happen to be a codependent in the vein of this one, please know that you're you're not only hurting yourself, it, but you're taking responsibility for other people's feelings and not your own. And then, like like I said to Tracy Chapman, that she was projecting, and and she came back and said, "No, I'm not projecting, and I'm a mental health professional too, like you." Well, she's still projecting because she said, "If I Tracy Chapman quote, you know, roughly, if I had to let that comment." I might have felt really ashamed. That's projecting right there. Not only that, it probably falls into projective identification with the commenter. And I become the quote, bad guy. See how that sort of codependent rescuer, victim to persecutor on the Cartman trauma triangle can, triangle can work in a comment that, well, there were more, but you know, that are so polite seemingly so fine and yet they're boundary crossing as hell make no mistake about it so as somebody who used to be a codependent as somebody who used to just put up with this stuff no my tone might be changing on this channel sometimes doesn't mean i'm going to be yelling or screaming at anybody or anything like that there are a lot of comments i get i feel for people in the sense that their comments are flawed not that many but some are flawed and make absolutely no sense and they are very lost people. So I got a little frustrated, which I owned in the video. So to Tracy Chapman, if you ever come back, just know you can't comment anymore, number one. And number two, you need to look in the mirror, as a lot of people with codependency do, because I thought about this. I looked in the mirror before I'm saying this. I'm not projecting anything. What I'm calling out is a codependent bleeding heart who was over-identifying in a projective identification and projecting way with the commenter how they might feel if, oh, they, because of my delivery style. I don't have that much power, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you feel because I have said something in a video that you've listened to or watched, it's it, it, those are your feelings, not my responsibility. So let's just clear that up right here going forward and in a very passive-aggressive way. 
they communicated with me. Perhaps they're not very self-aware. Because you know what? Among other things that I do here, and when I work with clients, how that's different than doing a video or, or an audio or a podcast, I am very self-aware. So people can bring it on all day long, and I'm going to call stuff out if, it war if it's warranted. And in the case of this pious, bleeding heart codependent, supposed apparent professional who took such umbrage for somebody else and was passive aggressive with me and then denied projecting, let alone that it was projective identification. Cute. Cute. Just another codependent that wants me to be a certain way, which I normally am anyways, but like over hundreds of videos, but wants me to be a certain way and deliver my message in a certain way. And all I have to say is, and who the hell is that? Because nobody dictates to me, just like nobody should dictate to you in your life. That's the whole thing about codependency recovery. And so there's a, there's a therapist out there named Tracy Chapman, apparently, if that's her real name, because it's not the singer that I really like. You know, the African-American, lesbian, folk singer. I really like that Tracy Chapman. I'm going to talk more about this. There's a covert nature for a lot of people with codependency, too. Undertones of passive aggression attempts to control, attempts to guilt and shame. That that was all in this person, in, in the thread. And I don't take any of it personally. I haven't taken it on personally. I'm just here to identify it for people to think about and to say to Tracy Chapman, you know, boundary crossing, you're not the good little social justice warrior snowflake that you think you are. And if you think you had no agenda in what you said to me based on one video, because this person only made one comment, okay, and then in a thread, three comments or whatever many back. They weren't going to let it go, and they weren't going to hear me. And frankly, I'm not here to engage other people's eggshell issues. So I hope that makes sense to you out there. I'm not here to scream at you, and I'm not here to abuse you in any way either. Of course not. But if you want to call me out on something like this person, then please have watched more than one video. Please don't just go on one video on a minute and 30 seconds of frustration and try to quote guilt me and try to tell me like whatever this person was about because what they said on the surface, oh yeah, so codependently seemingly appropriate. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, this is what people with codependency may in their own lives need to work through in healing and recovery journeys as well because while you've been hurt, you too can hurt. And as I say that, while you've been walking on the eggshells of a cluster B, as everybody loves to pound the ground about, well, okay, yes, but people with codependency have their own eggshells often. And that's what I'm calling Tracy Chapman out on. And I don't, ex well, she can't reply. And if somebody comes along to reply under another name, like sounding like this so social justice warrior, snowflake bleeding heart codependent who's projecting in projective identification and denies all that and it and i just have all this power to make people feel all this stuff i i haven't heard much more recently that's more absurd than that because i don't have that power i don't have responsibility for how you feel i have responsibility for how i represent myself i have responsibility for what i do here but I don't have responsibility for how you feel. So just if you happen to be codependent, just, just let this be a heads up that a lot of people with codependency don't need. But, you know, is Tracy Chapman the only social justice warrior, bleeding heart, codependent snowflake out there? Probably not. Giving me all this power as if, you know, like because they said they probably would have felt ashamed if I'd answered their comment that way. Aww. Aw, that would be their responsibility, not mine. Oh, and if you'd like to comment on this podcast, whatever it's called, please feel free. And all you have to really do, not have any issue with me, is be taking your own personal responsibility for how you feel.